Okay. So, wait. Oh, see, now this is what I was thinking. Something like this, like a ferry or a barge. Maybe there's something, maybe we can use this to, to migrate the ostrich. Okay. I'm glad that the game is, I'm on the same wavelength as the game. So is this like the, the is it like a seaside village? Or like, are we in Volsambor now? Believe me, it's a really good thing that the nomads can't just come and go around Valsambor as they please anymore. Sorry, Valsambor. Th this voice acting Things is- heating up for Mayor Bulyakin. Okay, that's a little more what I would expect. Like, no one has a regional accent at all. They all just sound, well, North American. Like, generically North American. Uh, what are you, what are you talking about here? Since the town hall closed the port, we sometimes get the impression we're living in a ghost town. <laughs> like, this sounds like a mid-twenties, like, mid-to-late-twenties female American generic accent. Like, I feel like the, the previous two games had a much better job of, like, localized accents to make you feel like you were traveling in specific parts of Eastern Europe. What do we got over here? I'm just exploring this area. All right, what do we got? Okay, so we have a boat here. Is there some interaction that we can do here? No, there's no item spot. Hmm. Okay, maybe, that, maybe that'll come back later. All right, just to know that there's a boat that we can see out on the water. Ooh, can we go into here? Hold on. Well, I guess let's have a chat with you first. Who are you, fine fellow? Hi there. Anything biting? Yeah, what, what, what's, what's good? Giant squid? As if. 20 years there's been fewer fish, but sometimes you can get lucky. Go figure. It's really odd. Okay. You seem to know the region well. Maybe Ooh, you can yeah, maybe we can things. learn a little bit about this I'd area. I'd like to know a little bit more about the Because we're like complete legend. strangers. We don't really know where we are. I was told there's we a are. monster down there, living at the bottom of the lake. You know, giant squid. It's not a legend. Oh. Again, and how can you from, be our, so sure? from our knowledge, legends are real in this universe. In the season, people mm -hmm. would go out and make holes in the ice in the middle of the lake. Then fish like that. Yeah, yep. Yeah. I know, I know all about ice fishing. Sometimes they these cabins for the winter next yeah. to the hole. Yeah, The old folk always said you should only cut a small hole. Just wide enough so the fish could be pulled through when you landed them. Okay. No more than that. Because otherwise day, a giant monstrous tentacle kind of odd, cut a really big might hole. slip through. To make it easier, he said. Oh no. In case he caught a really big one. Okay. You don't have to believe me. But he's the one who went into the hole. <laughs> well, I mean, that definitely, into I guess, depths. resolves that. In less time than it takes to say it, the monster's arm came through the hole. So it seems like we're dealing with a giant ancient squid here. That's why the old folks say never make a big hole in the ice. Because of the monster that lurks below. Okay. And how do you know all that? Yeah. Because the poor guy was my older brother. Oh. And I well, was fishing I'm just sorry next for your loss. Day. So you think what you want. Okay. You have a good day, miss. This is a very bizarre conversation, but all right. It's weird that you would frame this as like an urban legend and be like, ah, but he was my brother the whole time. All right. Anything else up here? I don't think so. Uh, is there anything on this side of the lighthouse that we can see? So they have two lighthouses here. Seems a little redundant, but I guess, you know, sometimes you want a backup lighthouse. Uh, can I go over here? Can I walk across this? Nope. Can't walk across the damn wall. Okay, what about this? What does this door go to? Oh, nowhere yet. <laughs> you never know with this game. New paths of exploration open up all the time. Okay, seeing anything else around here? So is there like another side to this area? Because I'm not seeing a lot to interact with around here. I guess we can talk to the shopkeeper. Maybe they can tell us where this prosthetic uh, guy is. We're going to see the Nomad Souk. Apparently they have good prices. Okay, I mean, again, that's a little bit closer to what I would imagine, but again, not quite. What about you? My squid is absolutely fresh, miss. These Listen, people miss, love their squid. Fresh. 
I mean, I do like squid. Squid is delicious. But again, what is with generic American accent, man? In, like, v Valsambor. <laughs> All right. So that was one side of the town. Is there another side over here? Because, again, we still need to find this prosthesis. Oh, there's definitely at least another warehouse over here. So maybe he works out of there. Anything over on this side? No, can't open up any of this. What's that over here? Yeah, this might be how we get the ostriches across. I mean, I imagine they're putting this right in our view for a very specific reason of trying to get our ge our gears turning. Oh, we we have a bit of a uh, day drinking fellow over here. Oh, is it, oh, is this the captain? It looks like he has a bit of a captain hat going on. Kate does not look impressed. <laughs> Yep, and ooh, 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 there you go. Okay, um, okay. So how you doing, Are buddy? You okay, sir. One more step, and you were in the drink. I mean, he's already in the drink. Pardon? Yeah, good to see you too. It's me, Captain Obo. Obo. Okay. Commander of the. I think you might be our ferryman. So don't you, sir, me. Um, don't you want well, the sir? Delighted. Okay. Captain. Uh, Captain. Yeah. I'm Kate Walker. I'm looking for Steiners, the clockmaker. If I fall in the water, Taylor, it'll be to go straight to hell. <laughs> so don't. Man, this guy does look haggard. Don't fall in the water, Taylor. You understand? I got. Yep. No, I got you. I, I would maybe make sure you follow your own advice, though. Who are you talking about? The monster of the lake is waiting for us all, miss. Yeah, I think I think we're gonna find uh, out that this monster is real. Uh, everyone's time if the mammoths are real, this lake monster has a high probability of work. joining the party as well. Come on, back in the fight, because you can never lower your guard. Is is this like the? Is he like the never. Ahab <laughs> to the the Moby Dick giant squid? All right, so we need to find Steiner. He wasn't going to be a big help. Oh, oh, there's a lot more over here. Okay. I thought it was just going to be this warehouse, but we can't even get in there, it looks like. Well, someone even drove their car over here. Okay. Okay, there's a lot over here. Let's have a chat with you. Maybe you know where Steiner is? That's a no. That's a big no. Yeah. Let's let him rest. He seems very tired. A what is tavern. This? Oh, the tavern of the guy who said to, to stop in. Apparently, it's the re best restaurant in town. Okay, this is a bigger area than I thought. Oh, wow. Okay, let's pop our head over here. So, we need to find the clockmaker. Maybe I can ask you. The way they treat the nomads around here is terrible. Okay, we found one decent person. They they agreed the way they're treating the the, the folks in, in the, the market are bad. Come on, go over this way. <laughs> I'm not seeing any clock or even any doors we can interact with. Oh my god, there's so much around here. I don't here. have any coins. Too bad. What about you? Everyone's been surly the last few months. Yeah, uh, G Irish? What, what, what is this accent? Yeah, but the way they treat the Yukels is not good. Okay, still not seeing any doors we can interact with, though. I guess maybe we can talk with you. Do you know where our destination is? Looking for cigars or some hooch? I'm even cheaper than the nomads. No, that's okay. That's that's okay, buddy. All right, go down the alley here. Still nowhere we can go in. This place looks so. Oh no, I don't like the sight of this. People gathering with signs, that's always bad. Oh no. The, no, the Yukels are great. You guys are assholes. Yeah, you definitely sound like you're all from a place called Balsambor. Oh jeez. If I had to deal with you assholes, I wouldn't want to come out. Oh, wait. That looks like Oscar. 
What? Yeah. That statue. It looks just like Oscar. No. Yeah. It's impossible. Wait, wait, did Hans come here? Oh. Oh, very interesting. Okay, uh, who are you? You should have seen it back when the port was still open and booming. You'd never even heard of a strike. Well, I'm sorry I missed it. Not seeing anything else around here. Oh, I really don't want to interact with you guys, but I think I have to at least check this out just to make sure the... There's no uh, watchmaker or clockmaker over here. Excuse me. What's happening here? Besides you just being jerks. Isn't it obvious? We're demonstrating against having the Yukul Nomads parked on our doorsteps. Oh, are you now? But what for? Yeah. Since they came to Valsambor, there's been no end to the shoplifting and vandalism. But you and won't let them out of that, their camp, so... <laughs> Mayor Bulyakin has to do something, and fast. Okay, so it doesn't make any sense. Our delegation. There, there's no way for the Yukuls to but leave their camp. The mayor talk to you? And you're claiming because the shoplifting's up. He wants so the how could they possibly be doing it? As much as us, but he's too afraid of annoying his higher-ups. And while he's gaining time by playing both sides of the board, we're watching our sails go through the floor. Uh, I think the that's because the port is the going. To prevent the migration from continuing, they want the Yukels to stay blocked in Valsambor. Yeah, this doesn't make that's any sense. That's what people are saying. But if you want my opinion, the only thing the mayor is waiting for is someone to get rid of those savages without him having. Okay, to get his hands this is when you walk away from the conversation and just say "asshole" under your breath. Also, a very weird. All the signs written in Cyrillic, but apparently everyone comes from. Like, Ohio. <laughs> God, it reminds me of that SNL sketch where... Oh, I forget what it's called. I think it's called Main Justice. And I'm pretty sure Jason Sudeikis is a, a judge in it? I can't remember the exact sketch, but the, the, the idea is that literally everyone in Maine has like a Nolan's accent. It's like, how, how did this happen? Uh, do you guys have anything you, you can tell me about? It's kicking off near the town hall. Yes, it is. I don't like that new waitress working in the tavern at all. What do you mean? And we, we are visiting a very judgmental place. Oh. Oh. Does this... Oh, this is the... Oh my god, what do they call it? The, the lift, basically. The, they shut down. Can we chat with you? So this is the thing that is supposed when to they shut the funicular down. Yeah, funicular. Morning, that's it. Funicular. Chaos. Yeah. So they shut it down so that we and, and and Kirk couldn't leave, but we snuck out. Welcome to our humble Valsambor funicular station, Miss. That is a very confusing accent, but sure. I'm 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 glad to be here. I'm not really glad to be here. I'm really not. This place is filled with assholes. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't see another way around here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Stairs down. Where is this clockmaker? I mean, we're asking everybody at this point. Impossible. I don't believe it. He forgot to leave it open again. Leave what open again? Hmm. Okay. Well, we can definitely go into the tavern, it looks like. We were told to stop by there, so maybe that is where we pick up our lead on where our, our you know clandestine meet up with a clockmaker is going to take place. Is he, oh, 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 what is this? <gasps> Steiner! We found it. Steiner. Yeah, there we go. Clockmaker, Steiner. It can only be one, right? Hell yeah. All right. Let's get this prosthetic leg. That was a journey, man. Oh, automatons. I wonder, I wonder if there's going to be a revival of our good friend Oscar. Hello. At some point. Are you Mr. Steiner? I mean, it stands to reason. The name's on the shop. <laughs> mm. I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. Steiner. Yeah, we're not, we're not here to, Kate you know, Walker, interrupt you. And I've come to pick up the prosthesis for Kirk, the Yukel's spiritual guide. And well, dear Miss Walker, <laughs> Dr. Efimova has what? informed me that the young man was oh. not yet in any sort of condition to withstand no, the operation. No, 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 he's, that... he's ready. Oh my Mr. god, Steiner? what is this soap? Are you all right? Uh-huh. It, it is impossible. Oh. 
he that recognizes the automaton piece. I would be very obliged if you would entrust me with it for a moment. This Please, voice Ms. acting Walker. is so disconnected from the, the model. <laughs> uh, I'm enjoying it. Like, it, it is very campy now. So, yeah, you recognize this component. The work of Hans Borlberg. Mein Gott. An XZ-2000 automaton heart in perfect working condition. A compensating spring memory. Pendulum ventricles I'm and small mechanical you appreciate pumps. it. Everything seems in excellent condition. Okay. Donner Can you do anything Where on with earth it, did though? You steal this, Miss Walker? No, no, no. We didn't steal it. No, no, no. It's, um... I didn't steal it. What? Are you calling me a thief, yeah. Mr. Steiner? That's an off, like a, a very me. rude thing this to is do. This all I have left of my <laughs> friend Oscar. Yeah. Give it back to me right now. Ah, so... And yet I am actually very oh. familiar with this type of precision mechanism. Again, maybe this An guy might help precision. us bring back Oscar. Incredible, unique expertise. Yes. For this was a he does know what it is. Miss Walker. You have a very yes. keen eye. It was Hans Vorlberg who designed this object. Tell me, did you know him? Oh, yeah. He even lived here a few years. Uh, I'm assuming on his we way when, when he did his first expedition to Siberia. He taught me so many different things, you know. Okay. So it is useless to try and make up silly stories, Miss Walker. Yeah, we're not and I am making anything that up. I am not about to allow you to leave here as long as you have not told me the truth about where this object comes okay, from. Okay, sure. Again, we will tell you everything, but maybe don't be weird. Okay. All right. Well. Ooh. Uh. Well, why don't we just tell him? No. <sighs> Don't bother locking me in, Mr. Steiner. Yeah. If you must know, the truth is that Hans Vorlberg was someone who was very Yeah, we were very to close I with Hans. I accompanied him on a very strange journey throughout Europe. Yeah, strange is putting in my mind. hand is the only souvenir I have of that adventure. Exactly. That proves nothing, Himmelhergott. Hans would never have given this to... 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 Ah. to what, 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 what do you... Finish that thought. Oh, you got some heart problems? Of your own, perhaps? Mr. Steiner, are you all right? I mean, you don't look like you're my in the best health. Need my medication. God, it Quickly. is Just killing me. Don't move. I'll How go and get your medication right weird away. the voice acting is compared to the character models. All right, um, where's the medication? Is this it over here? It looks like it's a pill bottle. Uh, if the game will let me. <laughs> there we go. Uh, oh, it's a coffee mug. Okay. There we go. Okay, empty cup. So, where are the meds then? Empty. No medication in sight. Okay, what's this? Hmm. It's a wind-up device of some kind. What is this on the center here? Oh, it's like an automaton you make bird. Make yourself right at home. <laughs> Don't mind me. I just own the place. I mean, to be fair, you also locked us in here, so I don't think you're going to be able to judge for what we do while we're trapped here. All right, let's head into the basement. See what... Whoa. No kidding. This guy's a clockmaker. Man, I feel like <laughs> I'm in like a surrealist painting right now. All right, what do we got over here? Oh, it's a model of the fairy. Um, There's a item to interact with over here. Yeah, what's this? Aha! Okay. And what did that do? Nothing is the answer. <laughs> okay. Other than just turning on the light. What do we got over here? Looks like a sheet of paper. Uh, okay, yes, it is a newspaper clipping, in fact. Okay. Uh, can, we, can we read said newspaper clipping? Is it in our inventory or is it a journal page? Yeah, I think it's a journal page. Yeah, there we go. Newspaper clipping. What do we have here? Um, uh, okay. It'll translate it for us. Uh, okay, so, oh, it was a nuclear accident that happened at Baranur. That's why everyone has those burns. Okay, they. I thought it was maybe going to be like a radiation burn. It looked like, like it should have healed by now. Okay, Tempest in a Teapot was how the mayor of Baranur... Uh, Anatoly, uh, Baron or Anatoly uh, Mikolai, uh, Mikolayev described the incident yesterday. 
that was worry uh, that has worried the communities around the local nuclear power plant. I spoke personally with Victor uh, Rostil uh, Ro Rostil Rostislavovich. Sure, I'll go with that. Uh, the director of the plant. Immediately after I was informed by constituents complaining of noise, he stated, and I can sure you, assure you that he satisfactorily answered all of my questions. In a word, all is well. Indeed, it would seem that a minor technical incident was at the origin of the alarm. A power test conducted on reactor number 3 at 1.23 a.m. caused planned radiolysis of the cooling water, which in turn caused small, inconsequential detonations that were sufficiently loud to lead nearby inhabitants to le legitimately react. As for rumors of underground flooding and a fire raging the facility, Mayor Mikhailov was both firm and reassuring. Spreading rumors like that is purely and simply anti-patriotic, he said pointedly. Given the importance of nuclear energy for the economy and industry in our beautiful region, do you really think we would take an accent lightly if there was as serious as the rumors say? And the town councillor added, The reality is that the current system in the plant are so sophisticated that an accident, and by accident I mean a major one, is statistically almost impossible. So this is definitely a kind of, uh, I guess, comparison to the Chernobyl disaster, right? Like, th these are some of the same things that were said about that. When we contacted him, Director... Uh, Ross Tilazovovich uh, concurred. He also confirmed that he had been in touch with the energy minister, which, in the event, saw no reason to worry. Vladimir uh, Malko Michaelov, permanent correspondent. Uh, let's see anything here. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Um, nothing really interesting. Okay. So this is about the, the nuclear accident that did happen. What do we have over here? Oh, it's the prosthesis. Yeah, I mean, can I just take it? Kirk's prosthesis, but it looks like ah, it isn't finished. Ah, damn, okay. What A do we have here? A woman's writing saying, Grandfather, don't forget to take your medication ah, three hours before okay, dinner. Okay, but where is the medication? That's not very helpful. <laughs> three hours before dinner. Maybe. We, oh, maybe it's like in a clock? Maybe do we have to set the, the clock to three hours before dinner time? And then the meds will just come out? And nothing over on this desk over here. Oh, oh, there, there is uh, a clock oh, over here. Oh, that clattering must get really tiring after a while. Okay. Oh, and there's a clock here too. Oh, okay. Tea. Oh, the mug, the mug, the mug. Of course. Okay, put the mug here. Aha. Okay, and now we can. Can I? Oh, I can open this. Gotcha. And this closes it. So, what time do we? She said three hours before dinner, right? So I'm guessing we need at least two o'clock. Uh, oh, hold on. Ugh. I see what's going on here. We actually just set the two different hands. Oh my God, this. So I guess it's on the hour maybe. Oh, this is killing me. Okay, there we go. Oh my God. So two o'clock, mm, no, no, okay, uh, what about three o'clock? It really doesn't want to move, huh? All right, sure, I'll do it this way. I'll, I'll do it backwards way. Uh, I want to do three. Does this change it? No. Uh, I guess let's try four. No. Uh, let's try five. Oh, whoa, okay. All right, that seemed to have worked. Oh, the tea. And the meds. Aha, so we have like an, uh, an automated medical dispenser. I mean, that is very handy. Oh, you better be grateful, buddy. For someone who has imprisoned us in his clock-making uh, workshop, you don't seem very thankful that we're making your medication here. All right, let's give you your meds. There we go. Hopefully, now you'll you'll believe us. That we went to the effort of searching through your your you disaster your zone of a workshop, help, my dearest Miss Walker. 
I'm afraid I may have judged you somewhat hastily. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Don't mention it, Mr. Steiner. Tell me about the prosthesis. Yeah. I need to take it back to Kirk very quickly. If, of course, you agree to let me have it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just have a few small the voice adjustments acting is so weird. It involves very precise and meticulous mechanics, understand? Okay, so... Will it take long? Yeah, I'm do sorry we, to insist, we can wait around. I also have to give a hand to those unfortunate Yukels. I need to help them get across the lake exactly. with their herd of ostriches. I'm so worried about them. Me too, Kate, Once me too. Once the mechanical leg is at last ready, I can go to the clinic and bring back young Kirk to you. Oh. That way you only have to worry about what happens okay. to the other Okay, great. So, that that's actually a huge You do help. that, Mr. Steiner? Yeah. That would really so, we don't actually don't need to go back to the hospital so, then. So, perfect. Yeah. But, dear Miss Walker, are you aware of what lies in store for the nomads when uh, they reach the no other side of the No idea, lake? but, you know, what they've helped us, matter, we're going to help them. Yeah. The next stage of your journey is the poor, cursed town of Baranor. Oh, right. It has become hell on Earth since the time of the last great The, the nuclear migration. accident there. Please join me downstairs yeah. for a moment, Miss Walker. Oh, don't, don't worry, I'll we picked up the exactly newspaper clipping. I mean. Yeah, no, it, yeah, sure, okay, fine. It seems like they keep giving us the hint that we need to go to... Or, or we're going to be using the barge. Like, the barge is like the most prominent thing when we come into the town. Ooh, what's this? What do we have here? Um... Do we need this? Is this what we're looking for? Uh, apparently not. Um, there's also this thing here. There's all sorts of gears here. Oh, we have a film reel. Oh, and there's the squid logo on it. Oh, I thought we were going to get some parts out of the box to help fix the, or make the prosthesis. Okay, what's up? What, what, what do you need to show Look us? Look just next to the films there, Miss Walker. You should find a film on Baranor. Oh, I see, I see. Let's add the film to the reel here. Okay. The film's missing. Oh, oh, I see. Let's add the film. Perfect. All right. We want to learn about Baranor. What happened there? Baranor, the curtain. Yeah. Oh, Baranor that is a melted down nuclear reactor. Ooh. Yeah, this is definitely supposed to be an allusion to Chernobyl. Like, that's like unmistakable. Right. Okay. I mean, that's good for the the folks that live there. Hell yeah. Oh. Hey, Steiner. <laughs> Automatons? That is not how you say that. <laughs> so these were the, the, the work of Hans. Yeah. So I wonder if we can use one of their shells to bring back Oscar. Yeah. These automatons look just like my friend Oscar. I guess people put that statue up that in the square in there. Yes. Room. Yeah. Truly magnificent pieces, Nishtvar. The XZ2000 model is most assuredly one of Hans's major masterpieces. Absolutely. Hans was amazing. Or, I mean, Hans and Oscar were amazing. Where the victims would receive the best okay. So they sent in the automatons to to work on the cleanup and rescue. Gotcha. I mean, that's cool. I mean, the, as long as the automatons aren't being damaged, right? Yeah, you have to wonder if Hans helped with that. Yeah. But according to that film, the automatons you designed with Hans should have helped save lots of lives, right? I mean, that's what the film says. that's not how things went. Oh. Because of Captain Obo. Who's Captain Obo? Ah, oh, no. that must be Sarah. Please come this way, Miss Walker. I'll introduce you. All right. I was worried that it was going to be one of the doctors from the hospital. Which, again, don't seem like great folk. Yeah, I think we're all done down here. All right, let's go back upstairs. Meet this Sarah. I wonder if that's his granddaughter? I, I'm assuming from the letter, right? Or maybe just someone from the town. Who knows? But we'll find out. 
Miss Walker, may I ah. introduce you to Sarah, my granddaughter? A pleasure. Nice to meet you, Sarah. My name's Kate Walker. You know, you really got to keep your grandpa in check. I actually owe Miss Walker a candle. Thanks to her calmness and peace of mind, I'm still here and on my feet. She found my medication and gave it to me before it was too late. Yeah. Donner Vetter. You don't mean you had another attack, He says non-English words. It's ah, so you're weird. you're so very naughty, Grandfather. <laughs> you absolutely must let Dr. Zemiatine examine you. Come on, stay calm, my little child. When I go to the clinic to take the prosthesis yeah. to the young Yuko, Ooh, I don't trust the doctors up there. Doctor. Until then, why don't you make yourself really... Like, it also seems like the Ms. subtitles Walker. were written for She's someone doing for it some with, like, the like a Russian accent. The other side of the lake. Like, well, it seems I like it wants to say I've doctor. Already found the solution. The boat in the film. Yeah. The crystal. It must be the ship that's docked in the port. If exactly. If it was able to transport the automatons you and Hans built, it could carry the ostriches across the lake. Ah, that's not a bad idea. But unfortunately, there's a slight problem of size, oh, dear no. Miss Walker. Oh, no. What's the problem? What on earth do you mean? Yeah. Obo became a poor wreck when he oh. simply abandoned our automatons in Baranor. Oh, that's what happened. His sorrows in vodka. Wait, why he did he abandon he them, though? Because of the monster in the lake. <laughs> oh. Apparently, the imbecile saw the monster Himmelgott. So he went back on his tracks, abandoning all the gotcha. automatons in Baranor, okay. as well as the people so they were there to rescue. So there's still the automatons over there, then. Grandfather, I know they you're still really angry with Captain Obo because he abandoned the automatons that you built with your friend Hans in Baranor. He was God, supposed to God, everyone wait for says them. these words differently. They were going to take all the survivors they found in the rubble to the boat and then bring everyone oh, here to but safety they never in made them back. But in the end, when he got to the beach at Baranor and saw the disaster and all the dead, he became really afraid. The disease, the Wait, radiation. So he must this town built a monument attack, to so the automatons. Dump the machines before on the, the automatons the did anything. <laughs> back empty to Valsambor, and the automatons have been there ever since in hell. But who knows? Maybe today he'll want to sell. I'm sure Kate will be capable of convincing him to help the Yukels. I mean, hopefully. I have to go do my waitressing shift in the tavern. Oh, you work in the tavern. Come by and see me later on, okay? Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, so we'll have to work our charms on Captain Obo. All right, then. I'll try and convince Captain Obo. Thank you for everything, Mr. Steiner. I don't know if I really should wish you good luck, dear Miss Walker. I mean, you should still wish us good luck. Baranur is only an open grave now. Oh my god, these dramatic camera moves. I am very into the weird presentation style this game has like there's something just off about it but i'm kind of into it all right so good to see you too i guess maybe maybe don't lock people in mr automaton okay so let's go to the tavern have a chat with the 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 captain convince him to take us uh, across but i guess the question is if it's a nuclear wasteland there how the hell are we going to get the ostriches through? Lots of questions. Lots of questions. Yeah, so the giant statue that they erected outside of what looks like Town Hall, they built it and put it up before the automatons actually ever came back. <laughs> so they built them to heroes that never did anything. I mean, the automatons were going to come back, but, you know, they're kind of stuck there now. I do like this environment. I think I think it's a cool town they've made here. Oh, uh, so this is the this is the other path. Gotcha. So now we're coming back into like the the main artery of the town. Let's see, so over here should be the path back to the tavern, right? Yeah, right here. Perfect. Yeah, it, it seems like we took the long way around to get to the, the clock shop. That's okay. We, now we now know that we now know the uh, the layout of the whole place. All right. I'd rather be left here on my own if you don't mind, Miss. And it's the same. It's weird because it's the same voice actor for uh, Steiner as well. This game's got a weird style to it, but I'm I'm still into it. It's just it's weird. Go speak with young Sarah. She could help you. How do none of these people have non-American sounding accents? I hope you find the tavern agreeable, miss. All right, sure. Why not? Why not? Oh, oh, there you are. 
Sarah. The captain is just there, next to the fireplace. Ah, I see. Captain Obo, I presume. We captain met him on Obo. the docks. Yep. What do you want? Um, I mean, ooh, a hedge. I'm assuming that's hedge our bets. Like, I, yeah, I'm not sure here. May I sit down for a second? Yeah. Go ahead. All well, right. I'm sorry to impose, but I actually let's see really if we can't you win him over. You kind of remind me of someone, the wife of the quartermaster that served on board the Crystal after the war. Okay. Uh, hopefully. You you thought she was nice. To the first cousin of the wife of a machinist. Sure, I mean. Oh, okay. That's interesting. That's all really interesting. But what I yeah. want to. Yeah. <laughs> that's a really great story, really. Yep. Because did you know? Do I know what? So there. Oh no. So the guy. Oh no. Was, How long have we been here know, listening to this guy. guy's stories? Turns out he was hiding in the broom closet. I mean, whatever it takes, right? <laughs> We yeah. gotta win him over. Irina. <laughs> yeah. The wife of the quartermaster. Her name was oh, Irina man. Malevna. Maybe we have to impersonate her? Crazy how much she looked like her. Okay, maybe we have to pretend oh, to be her. It's getting late. Yeah. I have to go. You okay. You can finish telling me the story another so time, So maybe if Captain we come Elbow. back as her, he'll be more inclined to listen to us. Okay. Well, thank you for the follow, uh, Haas. Um... 00312. Thank you for the follow. Very nice. That shape there in the water. What is it? Ooh. Oh, it's very dark, but it definitely looks like tentacles coming out of the water. Yeah, I think we're going to find out that this giant lake monster is real. Yeah, I don't like this. Okay, so maybe let's talk to Sarah now. Maybe she can help us look like the the this woman, Irina. Yeah. Uh Sarah, there you are. Do you, do you happen to know anything about this woman? Is everything okay, Kate? Well, Not really. define okay. <laughs> I'd like to ask Captain Obo if the Yukul Caravan can go on board his boat to cross over to Baranor. But I can't get a straight answer. He's completely yeah, sloshed. He is very sloshed. I'm sorry, miss, but I really think you're wasting your time. <laughs> He's getting drunk again to forget his crimes, like he always does. Oh, you know. To forget he wasn't brave the way a captain should be. Apparently, everyone in this town in is like Baranor, very upfront about all this up stuff. And abandoned his passengers. Yep, and no, we, we heard about he'll it. He'll never want to see that cursed place again. I'm not sure that's Ooh. true, lad. Even if he does, maybe he, off, he, the he wants to like a atone for what he did. Say the right thing, and yeah. you may be able to convince him. If I'm ever lucky enough to find him sober, even for a moment, I yeah. need that drunkard to listen to me. Yeah, we maybe need to I maybe get him a cup of coffee. That. Okay. I'll make him one of my famous small restoratives. Oh, okay. After that, he'll want to sleep for three days, but at least his mind will be clear. Okay. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna sober him up with a a tonic of some kind. Well, thank you. I'd really appreciate yeah. that. Thank you so much, both of you. Don't mention it. The way the Yukals are treated here is an absolute disgrace. So if we can help out. Hey. All right. Great. So we have someone else on on the the side of the Yukals. I like it. Okay, so uh, I guess let's talk about the ferry. Has Captain Obo taken the crystal out of port since leaving Baranor? Yeah. He's been far too drunk ever since then for that. Wait, that was and years anyway, ago. The port's been closed since the tragedy of Baranor 20 years ago. Oh my god, wait. Do you what? think the crystal is still in sailing condition after all this it's time? It's been here, docked I'm for sure 20 be years. I'm sure repairs to do, but Obo never stopped keeping it in shape, you Okay, know. okay, he that's good. This boat, despite everything. All right, well, that's at least one thing in our favor. Um, so, the captain's flight. Do you know why yeah. Captain Obo fled Baranor? He must have been completely traumatized by we what he saw there. We keep hearing multiple stories for this. Victims, and then the radiation. He unloaded the automatons on the beach, but he didn't expect they'd bring the survivors Man. back right then. He just cracked, completely snapped. Full that's wild. By all. So he just, like, imagine? dumped After the automatons and then just fled. appearing and attacking his boat. Yes, the old uh, legend of the monster know. of the lake. This sea monster, isn't it? it seems like it might be real, but we'll see about that. So, what about the automatons? They didn't try to, like, walk around the lake? Who it's been 20 years. Who knows what victims and automatons the captain abandoned? Yeah. No, everybody hates the captain for that. But nobody volunteered to take the helm of the crystal in his place to pick up the survivors. Yeah, if, if no one wants to step up, I guess you can't, you can't really say sure. that 
Everyone it put in the, the same amount of effort. Would have broken down really quickly with nobody to maintain them. Okay. Go see but maybe the someone is there. Sarah will bring you the restorative when it's ready. Okay. So we're now waiting on the restorative. Hmm. Uh, can I talk to Sarah? Uh, Go and talk to Captain Obo. Oh, okay. I'll bring you his so when we we're chatting with him, Sarah will bring it over. Gotcha. Yeah, the fact that no one uh, took up the mantle and and tried to actually take the boat themselves over means that you're all are cowards too. Like you can't really blame Obo if, if, if or like none of you stepped into his shoes and tried to you know make the rescue happen. <laughs> Apparently, something spooked everyone around here. These weird camera. Angles this, and movements. Captain. This one's on the house. Yeah, drink up, friend. Drink up. Let's see if we can't get a clear answer out of you. I'm feeling. Oh, dolly zoom. <laughs> My God, this piss water unbattens the hatches, swamps the deck, and opens the portholes. Sailing references. <laughs> Hello, Miss. My okay. name is Kate Walker, Captain Obo. Uh-huh. We met each other earlier. To what do I owe the honor of your presence at the table of the regrettably famous Captain Obo? Hey, not regrettably, but maybe, uh, you know. Ooh, coax. Let's coax. Let's coax. This is good news, yeah. Captain. You're back at the starting block again. Exactly. You have, a new beginning, you have the opportunity to remedy your, your error. <laughs> to rectify your mistake. Spirit, Miss Walker. Yeah. What will you be having now? It's my round. Um, water is fine. Um, oh, Valsenborn needs you. Yes. I'd rather you listen to me. Hell yeah. You're my Cut to only the chase. hope of finding a solution to my problem. <laughs> Do tell me about it, please, miss. Because God, the Yukels th and their officers are, are stuck here in Valsenborn. It's causing a serious problem yeah, among the people in your exactly. community. Plus, the nomads have to continue their great journey. Only you, Captain Obo, can defuse the situation by taking them you on board can, the crystal. You can, you know, pick up the reins and, and be the hero that you, you would have been. Everybody will tell you that I'm incapable of giving a hand to anyone. We don't believe that. We think that you're absolutely capable of. Yeah, exactly. Idiots can say what they want. Your actions, actions can true. speak People louder. It's true. People are quick to judge. Yeah. But they're not the ones who went to Baranor like you did. Hell they yeah. can't teach you anything about being brave. Yeah, no one seemed to, to follow in your footsteps. Maybe. So tell me, where do you actually want to go then, miss? Well, we actually want to go. So, <laughs> you're not going to like it. You won't like this. Yep. Stop going easy yep. on me, would you? Where do you actually want to go, Miss Walker? We're going to Baranor. We're going to Baranor. Yep. That's where the migration is taking the Yukels. Are you kidding? There's only one option. Baranor? In 20 years, nobody has landed. Nobody's even set 20 foot 20 years? No one has attempted this, I huh? I saw the hellish red eyes of the monster of the lake. Beast as big and long as my boat. Yeah, I could see Master why that might, you know, know put a bit of uh, fear in you. They call it the Kilak. The, the Kilak. The spirit of the lake. I mean, that is what the, the Yuka call it, yeah. The yeah. To hell. I mean, we, we've seen that they've, uh, they've carved it in the image of a squid, but let's see. Ooh. Play on his pride or preach? Let's play on his pride. In that case, I'll buy the crystal. Yeah. What makes you think she's up for sale? Well, you're You've not left using her in the it. Port yeah. To rot. She's completely run down. You haven't the money to keep her ship shape. I have money, and I need that ferry. Ooh, I like it. Poke his pride. Not a liner. <laughs> and the girl wants to take the helm of the crystal. Now I've heard everything. Love it. Love it. I know that play, if the proud against himself. Had an equally proud commander at her helm. I mean, she used to have a proud there. commander. But as you yeah. don't want to go on a voyage. Oh, I love it. Love it. Would you like a refill on that? Make make it a double tonic. All right, all right. You can get your gang of little savages. What are these camera the angles? <laughs> I'll take you. Okay. Oh, thank you, Captain. Really, with all, right. all my heart. So we're going to Baron. Thank you on behalf of the Yukels. But no, oh, but be careful now. How are we going to get them through the You're checkpoint? Not there yet. Yeah. There are two conditions. And they are negotiable. All right, what are your conditions? First, we stop by Narodas. It's a little town just a bit south of Baranor. That will mean we avoid the most radioactive zones, but it won't actually take you too far off your path. Okay. And second, we also sail by day. No, that Not seems pretty fair. I think the, the Yukels would be happy with that arrangement as well. And it sleeps during the day. Yeah. The beast is usually a bit of a night owl anyway. Okay. Yeah, that I seems fine. Yep. Captain Obo. In that case, all hands on deck now, sailor. Because all we've right. got work to do before we can hoist Hell the Hell yeah. Let's get to it. Come on, Kate. 
You hurry off and meet with the captain before he changes his mind. I'll go tell Grandfather to join you on board the crystal Excellent. with Kirk. Okay, great. Thank you, Sarah. Oh, wait, so are we just going to be able to get the Ukuls past the checkpoint because now we have a way to get them across? Interesting, okay. Well, hopefully that's the case and we don't have to worry about trying to sneak a whole caravan, a whole migration of ostriches and Ukuls. All right, let's go check out the boat and hopefully everyone's just there waiting for us. Yeah, hopefully Kirk made it out of the hospital. I have my doubts, though. They don't seem especially willing to let any of the patients go, but, you know, maybe if, if they're getting rid of folks that they don't like anyway. Come on. There we go. Perfect. All right, let's go check out the crystal. Hopefully, the whole caravan's already here. I don't know how they would be, but I hope that's the case. Nope, 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 nope. We need to board over here. I think. It's either, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll board right here. It's either here or the the side with, like, the, the drawbridge thing. Like the lift. All right. Kirk, I hope you're here, and hopefully you're here in one piece. Oh, I don't see anyone on board. I don't see any ostriches. Yep, don't see anyone here. But maybe maybe this is something like they'll, they'll only board the ship once it's ready to, to travel, right? Yeah, I don't see anything around here. It's a cool looking boat, though. I gotta say, like the the, the areas in this game, I th I feel like are really well like designed and modeled, and I feel like they have a very cohesive art style. It's just really, it's those vocal performances and and some of that lip syncing. It is, ooh, it's wild. It is not what you expect. Every time I chat with someone, I'm like, I have no idea what you're gonna sound like. Like typically, I feel like in, in games. Either you design a character around a voice actor that you already wanted to use, or you design a character around a voice that you've casted. You know, trying trying to match them up as closely as people's expectations so you can see a character from a distance and already, you know, almost like know who you're about to talk to. Like the, the, the quality of the voice, the kind of performance. Nobody. Like this game, I, I have no idea at any moment who, who we're going to run into. Okay, it seems like there's also maybe a path up to the the, the deck. Or not the deck, the, the helm. Um, there we go. Yeah. It seemed like that there was a stairwell down, and I think there was one up. Is there anything over here? No. Where is everybody? Hello, hello. Is there anybody there? Is there anybody there? Yeah, so there's a, a stairway up this way. Do we have Captain? Nope. No. I want to go up. It looked like there's an area over here. Anybody home? No, but we have a whole study in here. Oh, this is pretty cool. It looks like it needs repairs. Too bad. One thing I actually appreciate is that the, the font is the same like the the subtitle font is is consistent okay do we have anyone up here anyone on the helm yeah okay and what about kirk no kirk hmm okay well let's go have a chat with the the captain how you doing obo all right captain how are the preparations going there's quite a bit of work to do before we can hoist the anchor okay Kate. what would you have us do yeah, well, well, can we help? Maybe I can help you out with something. Yeah, do you need supplies? Well, the coal needs to be stocked up. Okay. As for myself, I'll look after getting the water tanks ready to be filled. Take this. Okay. It's the code you need ah. for entering a hangar where the coal is kept. You actually need it to use the crane to okay. load the coal onto the crystal. Don't forget to open the storage Storage hatchway, hatchway, first. hatchway first. Gotcha. Okay, seems pretty uh, straightforward. Um, well, how do we access the how storage area? How do I open area? the hatchway to the coal storage yeah. on the crystal? Just turn the wheel on the ship's bridge, sailor. Oh, okay. Uh, pretty straightforward. What about the hangar? What do I need to do in the yeah. hangar? That's where you'll find all the coal you need for the crystal. Gotcha. Okay. One container should just about be enough. So there's and don't already coal to use on the, the ship. Code for the crane that I just gave you. Yes, yes, we got that. And what about the crane? What do I need the crane for? To move the coal. This here is for loading all yeah. the coal you get from the hangar onto the ship. Yeah, this seems use pretty straightforward. But I gave you so that you can access. Good to have it all laid out. Post. Okay. I'll take care of that, Captain. We need to set sail as soon as possible, so better hurry up. 